How you going guys? My name is Lee. And I'm Chris. And we are here at Sunshine Coast M4A1 Gel Blaster for another Blaster Review Tuesday. But it is actually a Thursday. Thursday. On that note guys, we have got a heap of new announcements to actually um, get out of the way. So let's dive straight, in, yeah. uh, straight into that. And the first one is going to be that we are opening a brand new shop in Wynnum. Uh, the address of this new shop is 123 Bay Terrace Road, Wynnum. So if you're watching this video, that new shop's going to be up and operational. Be brilliant. So yeah, get in there guys, grab yourself a blaster or five, get some gels, check out the new gang down there and get yourself some gel blaster swag. And second on the list guys, we have the Sunshine Coast. Brand new shop down there at Bullcock Street. So that's going to be opening up right next to the gym there, Snap Fitness. Head on down guys, uh, check us out down there, check out the new gang, check out what they have to offer as well guys. Come in and get some mod parts, springs, o-rings, whatever you'd like, stocks, all the rest of it. Yep. Definitely get on in and check us out. Now Ipswich store will be opening in two and a half weeks, maybe two weeks. So stay tuned to our Facebook, Instagram and YouTube channel for more information on our opening date. And the good news about our three stores opening, each store will be holding a grand prize draw. So spend over $10 in store, that gives you the right to one ticket in the competition. So Only one, guys. Yeah, if you spend 100, doesn't mean you get 10, just means you get one. So yep. just clarify on that. And That's it'll good. be a P90 pink as the price and uh, all style. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. I like free glasses. Oh, we all love free things. And on that note as well, Chris, for every other shop that's opening up, guys, exactly the same thing. Rock up within the first four days of opening, spend over $10, you'll gain yourself yep. uh, one entry into the competition to win yourself. At the uh, Sunshine Coast, we'll be giving away one pink P90, the Bing Feng, which is what we are here to talk yep. about today mainly, and one uh, Gen 9 as well. Yep. Uh, we also have uh, more upcoming competitions guys for the Ipswich store. Um, we will keep you posted on exactly what we're going to be uh, giving away for the, um, the winnings of, yeah, of that comp, the the uh, closer to the date. And finally we'll be having a him and her giveaway which will be held in two and a half to three weeks time. So get your entries in, don't miss out. Yeah, this one, guys, is going to be held between Queensland and South Australia. Yep. So last time with the giveaways we had, we had mainly Queenslanders There's winning. Three winners in three, Queensland. Three Queensland yep. winners. So this time we're actually going to have a definite South Australian winner and a definite Queensland winner. And there you have it, guys. We have got heaps going on at the moment down here at M4A1. We're putting all of this on for you guys. So get in on the action. Yeah, don't miss out, guys. Free don't miss out. So, guys, to get in on any of those um, prizes we have just mentioned, head on into one of those three stores also previously mentioned. So that would be Ipswich, yep. Sunshine Coast, and also uh, Wynnum. All right, guys, back to the main issue at hand here today on Blaster Review Tuesday on a Thursday. Yep, on a Thursday. We are here with the Bing Feng Pink P90. Let's jump into the unboxing of this blaster. Okay. Okay, let's show you guys exactly what comes in the box. All right, you get your transparent pink magazine. So pop that off like that. She comes, slides out just like that. So that's pretty neat. Also, you got your 7.4 volt battery. She goes right in the side there. Yep. Nice little hidden away. Uh, reflex bottle sight. I love these things. Yeah, they're not bad. Always like to put these on all my blasters. And you also, um, we got our USB charger, and last but not least, the most important thing in the gel ball days is the safety glasses. All right, guys, this is how I like to set up my P90s. Okay, um, always I like my battle sight a little bit further forward. I find it is a little bit more accurate and it holds more true. So I always sit mine up the front. Yeah, they're a great side, guys. They don't really cut the peripheral sight. Good, good thing out, also so. about the new pink P90 is we have Picatinny. It's only small Picatinny, but you could probably fit a, a torch or a light on there or something, make it a little bit more your own. So yep. it's all about making the blaster your blaster. Yep. So as we all like to upgrade them, the mag just goes on like that. 
and that's where you goes put the battery un underneath. Yep. Like so. Safety feature on the side, so we got your safety mechanism off and on. Um, this is a really nice blaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it over to Lee. And Lee's going to explain some of the upgrades we can do internally yep. and a little bit more detail into it. Here you go, Lee. Yeah, cool. No worries, guys. With this uh, Bing Fang uh, Pink P90, guys, uh, compared to your previous models, this one actually you can't really see it here, but deep inside there, you're going to find this one has a nylon gearbox. So upgraded straight from the factory, this one running a new nylon box, nylon gear set. Uh, it's got a little bit stronger spring compared to the previous model as well. It's shooting 265 FPS straight out of the box. Guys, this thing is pretty damn cool yep. um, for straight out of the box. Even though it's pink, it shoots nice and hard. The magazine is also upgraded from the previous model. It holds uh, a lot more gels. Um, other than that, very similar, other than Chris explained before, a couple of rails on the front. Uh, aluminium barrel as well, it is pink, that doesn't really matter, can't really see it. But Gen 8 size gears, so if you're looking to upgrade, you can do something with your gear set there. Uh, cylinder, piston, all upgradable, uh, you can shim them, yeah. Being it's nylon makes for more room of improvements, doesn't definitely, it? Definitely, like, it's going to hold up the old one. with an 11 volt battery. Definitely, um, you can have a look at that. It will void your warranty, but yeah, definitely a lot stronger than previously. So, guys, um, let's jump into the um, ratings category uh, for yep. all of our blasters. We like to rate them on a few different items out of 10. Yep. So, first up, Chris, we're going to go for looks. Yep. What are you going to rate this I'll, blaster? I'll rate it as out of um, 10. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 for looks. The pink is not really partially my favourite colour, but <laughs> you sure? my daughter loves it, yeah. so that's the most important thing. Yep. Um, I, I really like the design, it's really well made. I'd okay. definitely give it a 7 out of 10. So 7 for looks? By far. Cool. Yep. Yeah, for myself, um, just because it's different guys, so I'll give it around that 6 to 7 as well. So yeah, on looks department. Uh, let's go for the next one, yep. Firepower. Oh, what Firepower. You rated, Chris? This thing really surprised me when we first pulled it out of the box to discover it shoots 260 yeah, FPS yeah, yeah. stock. Yeah, that's, so, and that's the average, guys, and that's not the highest reading, no. that's average. It was yep. shooting up around 280, 290. So. So, yeah, definitely going to put it up around the 8 out of 10 mark, yep. just for out of the box. Yep. And compared to anything else I've come across, this is really yep. above board. Yep, definitely. I'd give it an 8 as well, guys. 265 average is great. Um, durability. Chris, durability. what are you rating it out of 10? I'd give it a definitely a 7 again. Yep. Just, it's sturdy. It's, Solid nylon. You can drop it. On, see, you're going to drop it on the field, yep. and it's not going to break. Maybe if you dropped it on the top. Yep. Maybe, but yep. I think maybe if you change to a metal side eventually, yep. and it's going to make it even stronger and heavier. So, yeah, yeah. definitely seven out of ten again. Yeah, I'll give it an eight as well, guys, because it is quite solid, nice and compact. Uh, yeah, very little that you could break, mainly the front piece and the top, yep. if you abuse it. Otherwise, this is going to be a great blaster for you and your kids. Yep. Um, and the last one, yep. mod modability. Modability. What are you going to rate it, Chris? Um, having those after, Gen 8 style gears. After discovering the nylon yeah. gearbox, I'm definitely going to put it up around 8 out of 10. Yeah. Just because I know where we can push it inside and it's yeah. going to be very exciting to see where it can go. 300 FPS, here we come. 300 all day, baby. That's so pretty much very nice. these days. Everyone is chasing that. So, yeah. So what are you rating it again? Definitely 8 out of 10. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Cool. And guys, myself, I'm yet to rip one of these apart and fully mod it but I'm ex extremely excited keen, yeah, very excited to get this thing cranking, so I'll give it an 8 as well, out of yep. 10. So awesome. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10 yeah. for everything, and yeah. I think it, it really suits the 8 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, in conclusion here on Gel Blaster Review Tuesday. On uh, Thursday. On Thursday. <laughs> This blaster is great, definitely get in, uh, get one for your family, your kids, they're gonna love it. 
I mean, you come on down to any of our five stores in yep. person. Um, also have online m4a1gelblaster.com and don't forget as previously mentioned at the beginning of the video we have three new stores opening up so stay tuned guys Facebook Instagram YouTube three kids three blasters three tickets yeah that's right only ten dollars an entry yep. so check us out guys leave a comment below if you don't like this video what do we always say here Chris double, double tap. dislike double tap that's right and again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. We really do appreciate it. We uh, put out all this content for you guys. And make sure to tune in again on our next uh, Blaster Review Tuesday. And yeah, um, we'll speak to you soon.